Today I'm going to be doing baked bannock. Uh, baked bannock is baked in the oven and fried bannock is baked with oil on top of the stove. It depends on how big you want it or how small you want it. I'm just making a small one that's going to go on a pan. So I'm just going to use four cups of flour. If I can do this without spilling it all over. Usually when I make bannock at home, it's like everywhere. The flour's everywhere, everything's everywhere. It's all over me, it's in my hair. So that's four cups. I find that elders and like my mom, she didn't even have to measure. She just like pour it in, smidge of that and throw things in and it's like, okay, right? Cause they've done it for so long. And uh, me, I have to measure, I, I, I always measure. It's just something I like to do. So I mix that up a bit, and then I'm gonna add four tablespoons of baking powder. Three, four. Then I'm going to add a tablespoon of sugar, then some salt. I'm not doing a tablespoon of salt. I'm probably gonna do a half a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm gonna mix it up. So I get it all incorporated. You put the butter in because it makes it more flakier. And it's usually, because it's four cups of flour, I would do four tablespoons. So it's a tablespoon of butter for every cup of flour. And then you just mix it like this. Usually I have um, a little tool, but I don't. So I'm gonna do it with my hands just so it's mixed in with it. See, there goes flour everywhere. <laughs> you don't want it melted. You just want to do this, break it up. The butter should be room temperature. So that's good. It's all nice incorporated. Mix good. Probably a cup of milks in here and a cup of water to make two cups and then one egg. Incorporating it, mixing it together. You can see the butter. Look at all that nice yummy butter in there. You know after a while what it's supposed to feel like, what it's supposed to look like. If you think you have too much flour, um, it probably will not come together. Um, then you add more stuff. You would add more milk, more baking powder. That's what I want. I'm just going to go like this. The bottom doesn't really matter if it looks ugly. <laughs> um, it's the top where you're going to put it in a pan. Like that looks good. Do not grease your pan because there's enough butter in there where it won't stick. It shouldn't stick. Just press it down a bit. It's going to rise lots. And then I take a fork and poke it because it, uh, the air comes up and the steam and that, and it'll cook better. That's not the prettiest one, but it's gonna taste good. And that's it. And now it's gonna go into the oven. And you're gonna put it in the oven, 350, half an hour, 45 minutes. Every culture makes it different. And I'm Cree, so from Alberta. My parents are from Alberta. But I was born in Quesnel, and my mom taught me. So we every they make it different. Like if you try mine, and then if you try somebody's from Nasco or Kluskis or Red Bluff, it's it's different from ours. And I don't know how that works, but it is. It's totally different. It looks different. It tastes different, and it's a tradition, right? Oh goodness, probably maybe four or five generations. Back in the day, that's the only thing that there was, right? You couldn't buy bread, you couldn't do that. And if you're living on a farmstead or, you know, the reserve, you always have flour. Everybody has flour, always. They use lard, right? That's back in the day, there was no canola oil, there was only lard. Or bacon grease, a lot of them use bacon grease, right? You ever go into somebody's home, especially Native's home, and you'll see on the counter, there's a jar of bacon grease. <laughs> And that was about 45 minutes. I'm going to put that over there. 
I'm going to rub some butter on top of the baked one so it doesn't go really crispy and gives it a little bit more flavor. There's your baked bannock. 